Hello, friends. Hello, hello. My name is Janessa Oriel, and I'm head of community enablement here. Sorry, not head of community, head of seller enablement. My apologies. Here at Sell with Amy, and I'm so excited to be able to be here live with you as I am uh, almost every Thursday at 10.30 a.m. Pacific. So I wanted to be able to chat. One of the things that I realized that we've had some questions in the past during lives um, surrounding how do I get more sales? How do I get more bookings? How do I get more team members? How do I help support and grow my team? And we have had the pleasure of being able to work with individuals who have who consistently hold between 20 to 35 parties a month. Some a few more than that, but that's not sustainable for that particular individual that did more than that. Uh, we have had the pleasure of working with individuals who have teams of over 10,000. We have had the pleasure of working with individuals who get an average of 200 to 300 uh, sales, individual sales each month. Um, we have had the pleasure of working with some of the top leaders in the industry. And I wanna be able to share some common themes that I've seen among those top leaders or those top individuals, because not all are leaders, right? The individual who hosts uh, 20 to 30 parties on average a month, uh, that particular individual really focuses on hosting parties and making sure that those parties generate her sales. The individual that's focusing on, or that has the vast majority of sales, uh, individual sales each month, uh, has really needed to, to utilize and maximize Amy to connect individually with each of those um, the, those customers because she wanted to make sure to continue to grow, um, to work with those individuals to make sure that they would return to her um, to be able to make those sales. We've worked with those individuals that have had 10,000 team members and that those individuals are really focused on making sure that their team has what they need, right? So I want to be able to share how do you do that? How do you manage it? And more specifically, how do you grow to that point? And the number one thing that people do that we've worked with um, and heard from is they utilize the ability to maximize the relationships that they have with each of their customers, each of their customers, each of their team members, each of their party guests, each of those that they interact with in regards to their business. Hi, Verna. And so most, uh, when we've worked with them, their biggest uh, questions and concerns are, are the conversations that we have had with them is um, we need a tool like Amy because we want to be able to not just sell like a regular retail store. And we talk about that often. Um, I don't want to market to my customers like a store, a big box store would. I want to be able to easily, quickly and easily get to know my, my customers or prospective customers or prospective team members. And I want to connect with them individually. So that way I have a spot to list all the things that they're interested in so I can make appropriate recommendations. Recommendations. That's where Amy comes in. Of course, you saw that coming, right? So Amy allows you to build relationships. Amy allows you to remember or recognize um, when someone purchases from you, you log it. If you don't have partnership, if your company doesn't have partnership with Amy at this point in time, you log the order. And then we're going to remind you to touch or connect with those customers at appropriate intervals. So two days, two weeks, two months after an order. Some people shift those timelines if they want to have more uh, frequent communication with their customers. Um, but more specifically, the goal is you're not just handing them a receipt as a big box store would, but more specifically, you're connecting with them and then gathering more information. So that way you can offer suggested um, purchases that might help with whatever they bought. So for example, something that would work really well with an item that they bought. If for example, you sell jewelry and they bought earrings, you might recommend a bracelet or a necklace that might match or coordinate as an example. Um, you're also getting to know your customers. This all boils down to relationships, whether you do hundreds of orders in a month or whether you do uh, tens of parties, right? Uh, 40 parties in a month, or if you're connecting with um, thousands of team members, it all boils down to relationships, getting to know people and then sharing with them what is beneficial um, for them, even if it's not related to your business. If you get to know your customers, they become like friends. That's the beauty of this industry and that's the beauty of being able to work with people individually. That's why as your team grows, as your sales grow, you need a way to track that. All right, so let's talk about resources. How can we go ahead and learn from these individuals? I wanted to share that we actually have over on our YouTube channel, um, or if you're watching this on YouTube, right here on our YouTube channel, we have an incredible playlist. And the playlist is um, a collection of, of, of seminars that we've done, or not seminars, but online webinars, um, from both 
trainings that I've done. So uh, 12 Days of Amy was a training recently, not even that recently. Anyway, 12 Days of Amy is an example of a training that we did where we broke down bits of the app day by day. There's also um, top leaders that have come and shared insights like Instagram tips. Um, and there's something on clienteling, one of my favorite videos that we've ever um, coordinated with. And so thank you, Haley. And so there's a, a great list. And so I'm going to drop that in the comments, um, both here, and I'm going to put it in the description over on YouTube. I want you to go ahead, if you're looking to grow your business, go be really intentional about whom you're le learning from, and how you're ingesting information. Because oftentimes, when we stay in the same pool, and when I say that, I mean, if you're working with your team, or your company, company or your the company within your team, you are all experiencing the same thing, which is great, but sometimes you need to reach out and learn from others. And so we have a great playlist for you over on YouTube where you can dive into a different pool, if you will, grab what you've learned and then share that within your individual pool of um, whether it be your team or the company sellers, those that sell for your company. Okay. So I'm going to drop that in the comments after I'm done here, but I also want to know, one, is this helpful for you? And if so, let me know in the comments. Additionally, two, if you'd like to uh, learn about a different topic, I would love to be able to hear those ideas. That's where this came from. Someone said, how do I go from not getting any sales? Of course, we work with many, 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 many people that are just getting started. And if your upline has shared Sell With Amy with you within your first 30, 30 days, 60 days, 90 days, ideally 30 days, they're setting you up for success because almost every single person that's business has been in existence for longer than they've had the access to Amy have wished that they got started here because Amy allows you to organize and uh, gather that information so you don't have to remember everything. So you don't have to write everything down. So you don't have to remember to look at a calendar. Um, so you don't have to manage and carry a paper calendar if you don't carry your phone with you everywhere. Well, you carry your phone with you everywhere, right? The vast majority of individuals. And so if your upline has shared Amy with you in your first 30, 60, or 90 days, congratulations. They are absolutely setting you up for success. So thank you so much for learning with me. I look forward to hearing what you would like to learn more about in future lives, and I will see you next week. Bye, friends.